I fought the last three turns of my game up through turn 10. And in these last three turns, the British were very aggressive. They were able to drive out Smithers' two groups, uh, inflicted a lot of casualties, they had to withdraw. And then the Jaggers have occupied this, the blockhouse. And Colonel Slaughter's men are in position there, firing volleys. Uh, real turning point here was Black Feather charged the militia. Uh, these two groups were forced to withdraw. They lost the combat. This one was drawn. Even casualties on both sides. Um, over on the other flank, the uh, Captain Hainsworth, or I'm sorry, uh, Captain Biddlesworth was able to bring up his regulars and get them into line. And so they began a firefight with the Hessians here. Um, so that was pretty even. The state line here is just on the verge of breaking. They took a, a whole face of canister and it kind of thinned their ranks out a little bit. And you can see that they've got six points of shock each on them. So they're about to, to succumb to being overwhelmed. So um, anyway, I could fight this out for a few more turns, I think, but uh, the British definitely have uh, the upper hand at this point. They've captured the blockhouse. I don't know that the Americans have much of a chance. I guess they could start using their gun to start blasting away at it, but uh, those regulars there are pretty formidable. And um, so anyway, it's been a really fun game. I've really enjoyed it. I learned a lot about the rules, did the fisticuffs over there, bad things that happen. In that regard, the Americans are down to six points, the, the British down to eight. So um, anyway, it's been really, really fun. I love this uh, rule set. I love these figures, the American Revolution. This is a pretty big game with lots of different groups in, in, involved. But uh, anyway, had a blast. So until next time, uh, thanks for your comments. If you want to leave any, have any questions, I um, really appreciate that. But uh, thanks for watching, and we'll catch you next time.